Japanese tote bag that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen Julie and welcome to FSB TV. If you're new to your channel, hello, consider subscribing and let's get started. Well, I've got something a little bit different for this video tutorial today. I'm actually being inspired by the YouTuber Stitchless TV and the tote bag that I've been making is going to be reflective of what she has done on that particular video on her channel. So what I will do is I'll link her video in the description. So please do go along and check that out because I'm just going to give you a very brief, very, very brief idea of how I'm going to create my tote bag based on tree. That's the young lady who is the owner of Fashion um, Stitches TV. So, um, like I said, this is a different video tutorial, and it's all about just supporting all you know, all the YouTubers. So that is what I'm going to be doing in this video tutorial. So I am going to be showing you the fabric that I'll be using for this bag, and it is a, a fabric that I've actually had printed. So a couple of years ago, um, I went down to London and um, I met up with Tree and Tree took me along to a company called Contrado who print on fabric. So I'll show you what that fabric looks like. Let me see here. I'll just put it in there so you can have an idea what it looks like. So um, like I said, um, they are a company that prints onto fabric and I'll also link their information in the description below. So let's get started. So here is my fabric and you're going to need a strap for the shoulder. So I've got a short length strap there. And this is the fabric that I was telling you about. That gorgeous print. I think it look amazing in the, uh, a Japanese tote bag. So um, like I said, do follow Tree's video tutorial on how to make this because I'm going to keep it as brief as possible. So. What Tree actually men mentions is to divide your fabric up into three halves and we're going to be creating a trapeze, I believe she said in her video, and that is the folding of the bag. So you're going to get one end and you're going to fold it like so. So you're going to have one triangle shape going up or towards you and the next one is going to be going away from you like so so what's going to happen is that you're going to have a shape like this and then you're going to fold it from here to here like so and you have that kind of a shape. So this is where the handle is going to come. When the bag is made, it'll be like that. And then we have the bottom of the bag, which is here. So that is roughly what it's going to look like. But before we get to that stage, we need to take the pins out here. Um, I have notched each one and the second one there. So I'll take my pins out and I'm going to fold it in half because I need to stitch all the way around. Now I've created mine on the fold. You can do that if you wish or if you watch Tree's video she actually puts the lining in hers. So Put them together, matching up the notches and put a pin in and then matching the other notch and ooh, running away from me and there's the other pin. So what I'm going to do next is to machine sew all the way around down from there to about here. I'll just put another pin in actually. About here. 
And then I'm going to leave an opening because I need to turn it back out. And then once I've left that opening, I'm going to continue sewing all the way along here and then down. It is now pressed. I pressed all the seams and then we we'll start the process of folding. So I'm going to fold the first one up. It doesn't matter whether it's up or down. As long as one's up and one's down, so I fold it away to me. And the next one, I'm going to fold to me. Like so. And then you're going to fold it diagonally from there to there. So your bag shape will look something like that. So your handle, handle's going to go here. And then that is the bottom of the bag. So let me just straighten that out a bit more. it comes like so. So they have my, oh it's gorgeous design that. Actually, this is actually velvet so you're going to have one side that is faded and one that looks bright but I'm looking at like this. And the next thing to do is to sew in the straps. Now they go at these points here. So I'm going to push it in like that so the straps can then be inserted into it. And I'm just going to pin that into place like so and do the same for the other side. So I'm going to then sew the straps into place. So I have now sewn the handle and it's starting to look like a Japanese tote bag now. Now the only seams that are left to do to the front and also the back is to join this seam to here. So I'm just going to top stitch mine and I will be done. And that is a Japanese tote bag. So don't forget to visit Stitches TV, I'll put the link in the description and do watch that video tutorial in order to make your Japanese tote bag. Stick around on my channel for more awesome fashion sewing tutorials. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Do give this video a thumbs up and please do share. Now remember, if you want to receive notifications, don't forget to hit the bell and I will see you next time.